This is Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge, an innovative dark ride that seats four to a cart and chains theme parks forever. This impressive feat is due in part to the various factors that were sought out and implemented inside of this attraction. One of the first ways that this ride stands out is through its incredibly detailed and sought out facade. This feature is one of the many things that are incorporated into the ride's queue and to a greater extent during the ride section of the experience. Towards the end of this queue, you'll encounter a pre-show of sorts that helps prepare you for the ride and artificial reality headset that you will be given. Incorporating this into a pre-show of sorts is a great way to reduce the amount of wait time that would potentially be added by confusion caused by the headset, especially when boarding the attraction. Speaking of the Artificial Reality Headset, or AR, this is a fantastic addition to a ride and a first of its kind as this has not yet been implemented into other theme park rides. To further enchant this, Artificial Reality Headsets are still a relatively new technology. This means that most guests would probably not have been able to experience an Artificial Reality experience up until this point when the ride has opened. In addition to this, the artificial images overlay perfectly with the dark ride and where the ride vehicle is along its track, as well as the head movements of the guests. As if this couldn't get better, the ammunition of Koopa shells in which you are propelling throughout the ride via buttons on the steering wheel are projected onto the artificial reality headset and are aimed via your head position. This isn't the only chance though to gain points, as there is also ability to gain points via drifting at certain times during this attraction in which arrows will be shown on your artificial reality headset, during which you can turn the steering wheel accordingly and earn even more points. While these movements don't affect the ride vehicle's path, it's nice to see that there's an additional way to gain even more points in this type of attraction, as typically there is only one way to gain points during these attractions, with the only other example that I can think of being Universal Orlando's sister similar theme park ride of Men in Black Alien Attack, during which the end of the attraction, spoiler, you can press the red button to gain bonus points as you avoid a giant alien. Intriguingly, this is not the only experience a man black alien attack that Universal enchants when creating this new dark ride. However, before diving deeper into this section, let's first talk about other areas of Bowser's challenge, like how the artificial reality is not the only medium used throughout the attraction, as the ride also consists of Numerous physical sets that are extremely well detailed and intricate, as well as animatronics, screens, projections, and projection mapping. In addition to this, physical effects are also incorporated into this attraction, like smoke and wind. Incorporating the physical effects, head aiming, and buttons, as well as steering, are a great way of incorporating a touch aspect into a ride which is something that is rarely done. This is an effect that is farther enhanced by how well done it was incorporated and planned into the ride experience. Impressively, this wasn't the only section that was extremely well sought out and integrated with each other, as every single section of this ride was not only well sought out, but blends seamlessly with each other. An example of this is the artificial reality images being affected by the physical sets located throughout the attraction as well as blending seamlessly into the screen based sections in which those characters continue on for a short period of time before eventually transitioning back into your artificial reality headset. Due to this fantastic blending of different elements, the red vehicles were also able to further extend upon a certain scene of the ride and focus on the area without moving very much or at all. An example of this 
is at the start of the ride, in which projection mapping and projections are used to transform a standing image and the nearby stands with moving characters into a moving roadway in which your ride vehicle moves along accordingly. As if all these elements weren't enough, Universal went one step farther where most competitors don't, as hardly any rides incorporate the ride vehicle's ground, especially dark rides. Universal definitely took this into consideration when building this attraction, as it took the ground in which the ride vehicles move along and projects onto it, as well as incorporating physical elements onto it to really make it feel like a part of the ride itself instead of being forgotten about. An instance of this that really shows how much this helps out a scene compared to a competitor is this scene from the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge versus Disney's recent dark ride of Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railroad, during which you can see in the western scene as well as the rest of the ride, the floor is forgotten and feels out of place and sort of breaks the illusion. Before continuing to the next section of the video, I would like to ask you to please subscribe if you like what you've seen so far, as it really helps this channel out. Another thing that makes this ride great is the continual story that is set up in the queue. To farther enhance the story, like Man Black Alien Attack, Universal also used alternative endings that are dependent on how well a user scores. This technique is also great for adding rewritability to the attraction. In addition to this, to farther enhance this ending, guests are also able to see how they performed against other vehicles that have previously done this attraction as well as those in their cart. If you would like to see how you did against yourself, though, you can do so by using the Power Up Band Edition. This edition is purchasable throughout the park in sections of the land and can interact with the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge by tapping it to the steering wheel. Upon doing so, it will be linked and you'll be able to see how much coins you collect over time as well as collecting different badges and showing how your score performed against your previous scores. As if all of these features weren't enough to encourage rewritability, the ride also offers multiple tracks. While these two tracks go through the same scenes and show sets, it's a slightly different vantage point to help get you a slightly different experience. In addition to this, incorporating multiple tracks is a great way to also increase the ride capacity. Universal didn't stop there with both the tracks and storytelling, as these tracks are released simultaneously in pairs that go along the ride track. By doing so, the attraction is better able to provide a more enhanced ride experience than one that directly correlates show elements to timing of a ride vehicle, as opposed to Omnimover systems in which the scenes are constantly moving, in which there is not much of a show going on outside of the one that is pre-planned and goes on continuously. Combining all of these elements is definitely an impressive dark ride. However, what happens when you take away the artificial reality and interactivity elements? Well, like its predecessor, Man Black Alien Attack, you are also left with an impressive dark ride, one that is definitely still a must do inside the park. With that said though, there are some critiques that I might make to this attraction. However, these are extremely minor and honestly, I think Universal did the best with what they could. One critique that most people have was that the attraction should be faster. However, what I don't think that they realize is that by having a faster attraction requires either more track, which would take up more space, or a shorter experience. In this case, I think Universal did a great job of incorporating elements to help give the slow moving dark ride the illusion of going fast. Overall, Bowser's Challenge does a fantastic job of not only integrating several mediums, but doing so in a way 
that results in a fantastic must-do attraction for decades of per guests to come.